gonna, we're gonna film on a 90 degree day together out here in a pond, and then we're gonna film the second part of this episode will probably end up being negative five on the Black Hills with two foot of snow dragging an elk out. <laughs> I'd be all right with that. I would too, it'd be phenomenal. kind of setting up on this pond. It's a little over five acres and we're gonna have largemouth and smallmouth as the primary predators. Uh, these structures were setting up kind of as a, a largemouth bass habitat. We already put concrete and uh, uh, boulder piles out along there uh, on the far south end of the pond that we're kind of hoping to segregate them between. So we have these areas are gonna be largemouth bass. These areas are gonna be uh, smallmouth bass fishing. Well, we're out today, put together a whole bunch of these structures with Brett from Antelope Creek Wildlife and Ponds and talk about a really unique service that Brett is doing out here. And he told us a lot about his client yep. that he's doing this for. And, and it's not just the pond, it's not just the food plots, it's not just the fruit trees. I mean, a lot of guys offer one or two of those things to do that, but Brett, his know-how and everything that he does for a full service wildlife and pond production is very unique. It, it's it's interesting on all the interesting detail that he puts in to help, like you said, preserve the land, take care of the species, take care of the, the, the animals around here. It's just, I, I've learned a ton just every from minute. Around him today yeah, every so minute far. you just learn a little bit more. And yeah. the client just wants to, he told us about him, just wants to have his land benefit the wildlife and, and he wants to have fun with his kids out here. That's what he cares about. That is very awesome. And just what Brett offers clients like this is, it's second to none, man. I've learned so much just being out here for a couple hours doing this. He's putting in tubing right now for the aeration system. After that's in, we're dropping the structure. It's <laughs> yep. going to be sweet. This is first day of filming season five, dude. It's awesome. I love it. Beautiful day. Hold it. Hold the top. Man. There you go. Second and third structures going in. We got all, all the aeration laid out, four different pieces. And I'll start throwing in all this structure that we put together this morning. So it's been an awesome day. Heck of a day out on the pond, man. I mean, all the structure's in, aeration's in. Only thing you have left is just to finish setting up the feeder. Yep, finish the feeder and we're ready to go, ready for more fish and start fishing. Hey, thanks for having us out here. This has been very eye-opening for me. I mean, I didn't even realize what you could do with all the management side of things. And uh, this is quite the project that has a little taste of everything and yep. what you do for your clients. Yep. So. Yeah, it seems like, uh, you know, the pond management stuff, even some of the wildlife management down south, it's like a real big thing down there it's just not as popular here yet but i think it'll get there eventually definitely definitely <laughs> wind's more. just starting to pick up yep. hot summer day when we come back we're probably going to be a little colder weather yep. maybe maybe a bow fishing yep. maybe a little hunting we'll see what it takes yeah. us thanks for having us out yeah thank you to watch exclusive content in all of run two guns past episodes make sure to subscribe to our youtube channel